Hi, I'm BJ Posnacki with Inspect and Check. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to replace a single pole light switch. Before we do anything and even remove the cover plate, let's go ahead and turn off the power at the circuit breaker. Take your cover plate off, remove these two screws, pull the switch out, remove any electrical tape if there is any. One of these wires is hot, one of them is the switched leg. So being that we're doing this with the power off it's okay again before you touch anything after you turn the circuit breaker off confirm that there is no power if for some reason you're unable to have access to your electrical panel and turn off the power be careful when touching this because if you touch these wires and then you touch your hand to the box you could get a shock next we're going to take these two wires off if you have a drill i like using the drill because it's just quicker now i'm so used to doing things hot meaning with the power on that i just exercise caution so i'm going to keep my wires separate very important okay i don't know if you guys can see in here but there's white wires in here white wires gray wires are typically your neutral wires every once in a while i run into where somebody put a switch on the neutral wire that could be very hazardous because what happens is you think that the light fixture is off, but there's still power going to it. Very important to only install a switch on a hot leg and the switched leg. We have our new switch. Put the hook on in relation to how we're gonna tighten the screw. So we're gonna tighten this clockwise. So I want the hook to go with the way we're tightening it. So this way, as we tighten down that hook stays nice and tight inside here to the contact same thing here for the switch light as you see they're both gold so we got hot we got the switch going to the switch leg so it doesn't matter whether your hot wire is on the bottom or the top if you want to use electrical tape and tape this up that's fine with the power being off we don't have to worry about the screws touching the box. We're doing this live with power and we touch the screws to this metal box here. It could short out and trip the circuit breaker. Push these wires back. We're going to kind of like accordion fold them so that they fold inside the box. We're going to line our screws up. I could see from the paint where the old switch was. Now, I wouldn't go cranking down these because then what happens is you bend the uh, the switch and then it doesn't sit right in in the uh, cover plate here so I'm just gonna just kind of hand tighten these grab our cover plate put that in position see how it lines up here you may have to make some adjustments loosen this up just a little bit slide it over to the right tighten it back down make sure we're level that looks pretty good there put our cover plate screws back in as we're putting our cover plate screws in get them where they're flush and then just give them a, a light turn we don't want to go cranking these down because then it cracks the cover plate put all the screws either all of them horizontal vertical or if you want to get fancy you could always do diagonal but whatever you do make them look consistent because that drives me nuts when all the screws are all different ways go back to your electrical panel and turn on the circuit breaker and make sure that the light is working properly as it should i hope you guys found the video helpful please like and subscribe to see more of these videos and we'll see you in the next one